Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to create the ultimate juicy and crispy pork belly. We're going to glaze it with a lemongrass glaze and serve it with a barbecued cabbage, a miso cream and a ginger sauce. So if you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. This one was for sure a challenge. I made so much pork bellies to get the ultimate result, it was unreal. I glazed them, gave them a dry cure, a wet cure, cooked them slowly, cooked them really slow, cooked them right out of the cure, I let them dry a bit first, I fried the skin with hot oil, fried it on a low heat in a frying pan, you can definitely say that I've tried it all. But I believe that I've found the perfect way, so let me show you. First off, the quality is really important. You want a nice fat marbling and a good balance between meat and fat. Secondly, the rind or skin needs to be attached. This is the part that will get super crispy and you won't be able to do that if it's already removed. The pork belly that I'm using is around 2 kg and that's enough to serve 15 guests. Begin by cutting it in half. Then pour 2 liters of water into a container and add 100 grams of curing salt. Mix this well until it's completely dissolved. Then add your pork belly and make sure that it's completely submerged. Cover it with plastic foil and let it cure in your fridge for 24 hours. After that, transfer it onto an oven rack and dry them with a kitchen paper. Now let this sit uncovered in your fridge for another 24 hours to dry out the skin. Meanwhile, we can start on the glaze. First, chop 170 grams of ginger. Do this as well with 3 pieces of lemongrass. Then transfer 100 grams of brown sugar into a saucepan and also add 100 grams of sushi vinegar, 100 grams of glucose, the chopped ginger and lemongrass, and 200 grams of ginger beer. Now bring this to a simmer for 5 minutes. Then turn off the heat and let it marinate for at least 2 hours. After that, put it through a fine sieve and keep it covered in your fridge for later. Then the ginger sauce. Begin by cleaning 400 grams of onions. Now chop it. Then take a big pot and heat it up. Add a splash of oil and start glazing the onions on a medium heat. While that's glazing, chop 100 grams of ginger, 2 pieces of lemongrass, half a bulb of garlic and 40 grams of red Spanish peppers. Now add this to your onions and glaze it for another 3 minutes. Then add 1 liter of vegetable stock, half a liter of coconut milk and 30 grams of coriander. Let this simmer for 3 hours. After that, put it through a fine sieve and use a ladle to make sure that you don't waste anything. Then add a splash of fish sauce and give it a taste for seasoning. Now for the barbecued cabbage. First cut an ox heart cabbage in half. Then season a big pot of boiling water with salt. Add the cabbage and blanch them for around 3 minutes. Once it's blanched, transfer it onto an oven rack, flat side down and let it cool down completely in your fridge. Then cut each half into four. Now turn in your barbecue and make sure that it's around 300 degrees Celsius. Barbecue your cabbage on all sides till it has a nice and golden color. Now cut it in half once more and then keep them covered in your fridge for later. Then for the miso cream, begin by cleaning one celeriac. Now chop this in big cubes. After that, clean one shallot 
and chop it. Now heat up a saucepan, add a splash of oil and fry your shallots together with the celeria cubes and 100 grams of a dark miso paste. Also fry this on a medium heat. Once it starts to color, you can deglaze the pan with 500 grams of vegetable stock and reduce it on a medium heat till almost everything has vaporized. Then transfer it into a blender and blender it till it's a smooth cream. Now put it in a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Then back to the pork belly. The pork belly is dry so you can start making a lot of tiny holes in the skin using a sharp needle. This to render out more fat when it's cooking and ensure that the skin will become super crispy at the end. Now cook it at 120 degrees celsius for 3 hours. Once it's cooked let it rest for 30 minutes and then cut it in 3 using a really sharp knife. Then take some hot oil that's 220 degrees celsius and carefully pour it on the skin so it pops up nicely and becomes super crispy. Obviously the oil is super hot so be very careful. Once the top is nice and crispy and it has a beautiful color you can transfer it onto a cutting board. Now turn it around and use a sharp serrated knife to portion the pork belly. By cutting it from the soft part to the crispy part you ensure that you don't press the tender meat and squeeze out all those delicious juices. Look at that beauty! Now transfer them onto a tray and glaze the meat part with the glaze. Be sure not to glaze the crispy skin otherwise it will turn soft. Then we can start to plate. First lay the cabbage that I have heated up at 160 degrees celsius for 5 minutes on a plate. Now pipe a couple of dots of the hot miso cream on top and lay a couple of sliced spring onions on there. Also add a couple of toasted salted peanuts. Then lay your pork belly next to it and decorate the garnish with some marigold petals. And now I finish it off with the hot ginger sauce. This was for sure the best pork belly that I've ever tasted. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit!